Blast. Blast. You're good. Heck yeah, you're good. You guys. You guys are really excellent because you're done. Those who graduated officially are done with school, hopefully forever, maybe. I don't know. Maybe anybody going around with a master? Okay, Tyler's never a cheaper. You're done. You're just a little bit Sorry. They're maybe both not done, but they're done for now. And they graduated yesterday, and we're super proud of you guys. Amen. Amen. Amber, how old are you? Five. You're five. When I was five, that was just a few days ago, but when I was five, Miss <laughs> Christine and Miss Donna got me in Sunday school in this church. Amen. And I was ornery and, and a handful. But they Some things me. never change. They, they didn't kill me, so I lived to adulthood. <laughs> and when I became an adult, Avery, you were three, seven, five. <clears throat> Somewhere in that ballpark when you started the Kids Connection? Yeah, she's like, I don't know. Why are you asking that? <laughs> How old do you think she was, Heather, when you guys, when you guys started, started the church? Five. Probably five. five, okay. So I was, I, they were her special blessed. I was totally blessed to get to be the director of Christian Ed here at Sandville for, I don't know, a while. And um, it was the coolest job, by the way. I was totally created for that, not to work for the attorneys that I left here to work for. <laughs> that was a whole other disaster. It's like working for heaven and then working for hell. So I didn't know what that was. <laughs> anyway, today's not about me. But I say that to say that um, Avery came to, comes rolling in with her little sister when she was about five. Her little sister was not five. She was younger. But anyway, um, and I was a director of Christian Ed, so I got to have them in um, – Kids ministry, which was really, really cool. So we did children's church together, and not not just Avery. I did it with Cameron, too, and m most of the kids that are here, adults that are here. Um, and and so the influence that Miss Christina and Miss Donna and the rest of the church had on me brought me back as an adult, and um, then I got to uh, terrorize these guys. And actually, um, Megan, where are you? Way in the back, of course you are. <laughs> Megan, um, who we had in our our it was in our youth group 100 million years ago. It was really just yesterday, but she also got to have these kids in youth group. So you see how, and I had Megan in youth group. So you see how it all kind of comes full circle. So I say that to say a couple of things. One, we're old. Congratulations, we <laughs> survived. Uh, two, everything that you guys do puts a huge impression on us old people. Sometimes it's the reason that we get out of bed in, in the morning. So thank you for taking time out of your Sunday morning or your Saturday night or your whatever to come and hang out with us boring old people and let us fuss over what a big deal you guys are because you are a big deal. So Cameron, I want to I'm gonna put you on the spot. What is oh all right, hold on a minute. Let me go right behind this because I yeah, I got recorded. All right, I'm gonna put you on the spot spot everybody so everybody can hear you. All right. What is what's something that is your favorite was your favorite thing about high school? Like what what's a memory or a an event or like something that when you're thinking about high school you're like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna miss that. Avery <laughs> um, reminded me of the science ball that we went to this year. Well, um, we didn't do very well, but it was fun at least. Um, but I would say uh, my volleyball season this year. Woo, yeah. And we ended up winning state championship. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that's what it would be. Is there any words of wisdom that you have to the younger ones about school or volleyball or chasing your dreams or listening to your parents? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely listen to your parents. Uh, they know best. And just remember that the people that support you, um, you can always go to whenever you're struggling, and they'll always support you. Amen. Amen. And I always love you. Excuse between you. You don't have a memory. Who was your favorite uh, teacher in school? 
Miss Providence. Why? <laughs> because she helped me with a lot of my English essays. Did, was she your English teacher? Yeah, she still is. Well, okay. I'm done with college and there, so. I'm done with college and there. 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 Love it. Okay, so. If you could say something to your elementary self about preparing for high school, because I know the biggest fear I think was probably I'm going to not be able to get into my locker. Yeah, what what would be besides? Don't worry, you're not going to get sucked into one. What would be your your word to advice to yourself to your younger self? Um, there's always someone there to help you. I never went a day without having help or someone by my side. So. You're not alone in high school. <laughs> We're in life. We're proud of you. Amen. Amen. Woo. Is that going to run after? I guess yeah, I was running. thinking it was running now. So no, 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 no. Okay, I'm sorry. Demetrius. You have the coolest name. Yeah. Well, next to Ricky Bobby. You kind of can't beat that. That was the most off the top of Ricky Bobby. Demetrius. I've been practicing, just so you know, because I was so afraid I was going to be like that and embarrass myself. I can embarrass myself anyway, but thank you. I appreciate that. You're a tall guy. <laughs> yeah, you can play football. Yeah. Or so. Woohoo! Right. Yeah. Awesome. So, when you were a little kid, in I don't know, a little kid, that could be it. What did you want to be when you grew up? NFL. Do you want to play NFL? Yeah. Are you going to go to NFL? Um, I mean, I want to, but you never know. Yeah. So, what are you doing to prepare for that? <clears throat> You're a big guy. They're really big guys. Yeah. Um, You're eating your or what? Yeah, I'm drinking protein shakes, going to work out, <laughs> getting better. So Good. I'm gonna try and just get stronger and faster. Yeah. So, okay. so when you go off to college, do you have like a, or are you maybe, are you? Yeah. What, what, where are you going? And what do you want to do? I'm going to Marietta for business. For business. Yeah. Are you gonna, gonna play ball for them? Yeah. So right across the river, people, you have no reason not to go and support this guy. <laughs> right. All right. We're proud of you. Thank You're you. You're hanging in. Ricky Bobby. Everybody say it's fun. Ricky Bobby, Ricky Bobby. So I have a, a side um, note to, to go off on, you know, because I always have those rabbit holes. So Jenna's mom and dad have moved uh, from Virginia here. Long story, but anyway, we had to move like a 5,000 square foot house into like a shoebox, and then we had to move it all out and then move it back in. Anyway, so every time we've moved it, Ricky Bobby has been the muscles and the brains in the operation. So. I just want to say, hands down, anybody that ever wants to challenge him to Jenga, don't. <laughs> because he can stack it, no matter how. Pack it, stack it, he's got it going on. Ricky Bobby, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. So what it, let's see here. What do I want to ask you? Um, who was the greatest influence for you in your life? It could be when you were a little kid. It could be like now. Somebody dead, somebody alive. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Probably my mom and my dad. Both of them. How's it come up? Huh? How's it come up? What's up, dude? Why do you work? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, spend, I spend less time with them, and I think I just respect them more than anybody else. I just value what they say, how, how, they, how they work and stuff. And they're good people. Yeah, they're all right. Your mom's back there sobbing and talking about that. No, I think they, they did a really good job. All of the people did a really good job. But, you know, I can say, like, for you Haynes folks, it takes a village right here. <laughs> and you have one. And you are so, so blessed. Same with you guys. All of you. Well, you're, you're kind of an honorary Haynes last year, right? <laughs> you know, we, like, we just grow them up and adopt them around here. We don't like them. Amen. <laughs> All right, so Rudy Bobby, what are you going to do? I, I was going to totally ask you, what are you going to do when you, when you graduate? What's the next plan? Oh, I'm going to college at East Western Reserve in Cleveland and play football and study faculty. Woo! It's going to be a millionaire, people. Mark right. my words, get his autograph now. You're going to do big things. We're proud of you. Ricky Bobby out! <laughs> Sup, Tyler? <laughs> How are you? Fine. Good. <laughs> so, when we did this, like, just yesterday, and Tyler's graduating high school, I, he had a scholarship to Bowling Green, I think it was. And I told him I would arm wrestle him for a scholarship to stay here because we valued him so much as a, as a core person in our, our praise team and in our church. And let's face it, he's not hard on the eyes and he's got an amazing talent and, you know, it just makes coming to Sunday church always better. And... All right, wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Met my match. All right. So here we are again. And we have been fortunate that, um, well, Tyler, tell us your plans. What are you going to do? 
Um, I'm going to be teaching kindergarten, first, and second grade music in Marietta at Phillips in Washington. Woohoo! Yeah. Super, super lucky, and we get to keep him home. So I'm all kinds of down with that. Oh, amen. And um, I think you graduated with some kind of honor. Salutatorian. Woohoo! I'm really super proud of you. You're a great guy, and we appreciate you, Tyler. Look, Tyler Hartline. Woo! My girl Candy. You're like another one of my babies. You and Keston were in the same grade, graduated the together. Camera's I like, get away. Feel so old right now. It's just weird. Okay. So you went, okay, so Cammy was in the band. If you don't know Cammy, Cammy's music is her life. Am I, am I wrong to say that? No, yeah, music is her life. She, I think she came out playing a guitar, maybe a clarinet, I don't know. <laughs> Um, you'll see it in the slideshow. I think we've got some pictures of you doing some fun stuff. But she went off to Glen State to do amazing things, and she got, got to come back home. And what did you do um, for the last few months? What have you been doing here? I've been student teaching. Uh, I was at Williamstown Elementary, and then I was at Parkersburg South. So that's pretty cool. Williamstown yeah. Elementary and Parkersburg South. So we're representing you today. And when you, um, now that you're graduated and you're done, and you can throw your cap and gown in the back of the closet and not have to think about it for a really long time, now what are you going to do? What's the future plan? Um, I'd like to get a full-time position somewhere in the area and you know, maybe get my master's degree. That would be awesome. And stay close to home where we can keep you forever and ever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Absolutely. Cammy Knott, we are too proud of you. Cameron, I'd ask you, what are you going to do with, what are you doing at school? Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to play volleyball with Stingham, and then I'll probably go uh, to medical school. Woohoo! Put me on your list to be your patient, because I'm going to be old, older. <laughs> How about you, Avery? Um, I'm going to WVP and doing their nursing program. Yeah! yeah. To wrap this all up, as Tyler likes to say, um, we're going we're gonna to do a slideshow, and, and we've put together things. Um, some of them, parents, if you post on Facebook, it's fair game to me, so I'm sorry if I bear you. <laughs> Life will go on. Um, Life will go on. We will, we will enjoy it. Um, just a reminder to you, there are going to be a lot of things in life that you're going to get to do. Some things you're going to make good mistakes on, some things and you're going to learn, some things you're going to fall on your face and you're not going to learn. And then, you know, there's going to be times when you're not going to think that you're good enough, or there's going to be times when you think you're too good, but I got to tell you right now, this is your this is your tribe right here, and they, no matter what you do, whether you succeed and you're the best doctor, or you're the best teacher, or if you're the, <laughs> the worst, this tribe of people loves you, and they are never going to leave you, and the doors to this church are always open, Amen. but the church is this right here, and we always want you to come home. And when you're an old lady like Megan, we want you to have your babies here. And then if you're a really old lady like me, we want you to have your grandbabies here. And <laughs> even if you've got another place that you call home, we always want you to come home. We always want to celebrate you. We're always thinking of you. We're always proud of you. We always love you. And you guys are going to do big things. We know it. Don't we, church? Amen. Right. Amen.
truth. 